There's been a lot of talk about AI for like the past couple of months and it's really been taking over the internet and I thought why not see what the fuss is about. Let, let's try and see if we can generate maybe like a basic website. Is our job in jeopardy? <laughs> We're going to answer today. <laughs> We're going to talk about something called chat GPT. Uh, something that is quite new that some people haven't heard about. A lot of people have heard about it, but essentially this is the age of AI. Uh, coming out in like the next couple of years or so. Bess is here, by the way. He's uh, sitting over here. He's actually been there in every single video on my channel, like for the past couple of months or so. Like he's been sitting in this chair, just kind of saying hi. <laughs> yeah, you're so cute. You're just kind of sitting there. But the reason we're trying to do uh, just kind of like a different video today is because I want to take a look at what exactly ChatGPT is, because it's like, you know, everyone's talking about it and people are freaking out about, oh no, are they going to take over? Like, is AI going to take over our jobs as web developers and multimedia designers? Like, what about artists? Are they going to lose their jobs as well? So chat GPT is very much something that people are talking about. I personally don't feel like it's something that will take over some sort of jobs. I think it's going to turn out to be a tool that will be great for people to, to use and just kind of like help them make websites for example i do still think we're gonna have you know web developers that kind of thing just double checking what it's spitting out like because it's not spitting out complete websites at least not from what i know but it's really interesting to see and and i've, I've heard about it but i've never actually taken that close a look at what chat gpt is so i thought why don't we try to have an ai answer some questions besides what i heard online i don't actually know what chat gpt is you know it's it's a place where you can ask questions and then it'll answer them for you. Um, but I don't actually know how powerful it is. Like, is it actually going to be able to generate a website just by asking it to do so? Uh, or is it going to be something where, you know, it still has a, a lot of limitations and like, you really need to know how to phrase a question and, you know, in a way that only a web developer would know how to phrase something. I don't think any person can just say, give me a website that is like perfect for uh, a multi-million dollar corporation that sells shoes, for example. Like there has to be some sort of person, a translator that has to translate something into an AI in order to have it spit out the proper thing. And like I said, I don't think web developers are going to be something that is obsolete at some point in the future. I think this is just going to be a tool that we can use and it's going to make our lives a little bit easier. But who knows? Maybe Skynet is going to take over tomorrow. <laughs> And, and people like me who are just saying it's a tool are just like a little bit too relaxed about it. I have to confess though, I did actually, before I started recording this video, I, I did a couple of days ago actually create an account inside. Apparently you can just do so. I thought it was like, you know, like a, a really w rare beta access that people could like sign up for and then maybe if they were lucky, uh, you could gain access to chat GPT. But apparently it's just kind of like, it's, it's there, you can just go in and make an account and you can start asking questions. It's, it's like using an AI for Googling things. <laughs> I'm actually really curious to try and create something just using AI like a website to see if we can do so, cause that would be kind of cool. If any of you know any tools for like creating AI images that can be used for like creating image banners for websites and that kind of thing. I say a kind of thing a lot when I'm just like free talking, not like off script. I'm not scripting anything right now, so I'm just kind of like talking. If any of you know of any tools, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know like for like generating images, like we have ch chat GPT for generating the code because I've seen people do so. Uh, so we're, we're going to try and generate code today inside this software and see if we can actually do so. I mean, I know we can, but is it going to be accurate? Is it going to be something we can use for anything? So I made this account because I've been talking a lot now. We're, we're, we haven't asked it a single question yet. Uh, and what we can do is we can go in here and you can write a message down here at the bottom. There is a upgrade to plus a uh, little button down here. So you can actually upgrade to, I think, the, the latest version of chat TPT because if you click down here to see some information you can actually open it up and see oh so we have some release notes and it does say that we're excited to bring jet gpt4 which is supposed to be like much better than the third version which is what we have here and it is for the plus subscribers so there is some benefits to having a plus account uh, i do not i'm just using the free version because you know first of all i'm not really that 
<laughs> much. Like I'm not going to use the tools so much that uh, I need a subscription, but also it's just kind of interesting to see like what you would be able to just go in and with a free version, just try for yourself if you wanted to. By the way, there is going to be a link to this website here in the description if you want to check it out. Can we create a website using an AI with one question? Because we're not going to sit here and try and create an entire website in this video here, but maybe in a later video, I might try to like ask very specific questions about specific sections of a website to like try and make it generate it for me. But let's try and see if it can generate a full website with one question. So now the question is, how do we phrase one of those questions to get a proper response? Okay, so I, I tried to write this out without trying to go too much <laughs> into detail, but just kind of like to get an idea about what it can do. So please create the HTML and CSS for a complete one page website that has a navigation at the top of the website, a hero section, a category section, an about section and a footer in that order. So to see if we can get that complete HTML CSS, it's probably not going to include any sort of images, but let, let's see what it says. Um, in order to get this, let's go down to the bottom here. As an AI language model, I cannot create complete websites, but I can provide a, a sample HTML and CSS code for a one page website with the components you described. Here is an example. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, so it is making sure to use the proper HTML tag. This is HTML5. We do have, you know, some semantics going on and some um, some of the standards for like when it comes to readability for people with disabilities. We do also have the, the what do you call it? The responsive design tag in here. Uh, we do also have a link to a style sheet. And my question is, does it actually have the styling for that incorporated? Like it is still generating down there because we did ask it for quite a bit. Uh, but it does seem like we have a header with proper semantics. We do also have a unordered list with some actual sections here. Now, what I think is really interesting is that it actually gives us a link for further down the page. Like it's actually providing links to these various sections that I asked for without requesting it. Like it's doing this on its own. I didn't ask for it to create links just to create a navigation. So I did kind of like try to be a little bit vague in that department but it is actually filling in something I can use. It is actually going to link further down the page because we have a section down here with an ID set to hero. So when I click this link up here, it is going to bring me down to that section. Then we have a category section. We have some different categories. Now I am noticing here that it is giving us a category section with an unordered list instead of like a clickable box that we can click on. Uh, let's see if we can rephrase that question afterwards to like make it generate that for us. We do also have an about section and we have a footer with just like the basics of what needs to be like, like the, the bare essentials of what needs to be inside a footer. Um, so the HTML up here is actually quite impressive. It is following all the, the proper rules when it comes to all this with the semantics and all of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is our jobs obsolete by now? And it is also giving us CSS code. I would actually love to see how this looks like inside a website. Like, how does this actually look if you try to place this inside a website? Like, we're going to do that afterwards, but let's go ahead and ask it first to rewrite this to include categories as boxes instead of like an unordered list. Okay, so using the previous response, can you recreate the category section so it has boxes with background images instead of a unordered list? Like so. Let's see if we can actually reuse the previous response to, to generate something. Certainly, here's the updated HTML and CSS for the category section with boxes containing background images. Okay, okay, so it's only giving us the um, the HTML section. So it does give us a div container with a link inside of it. It is making the anchor tags the actual boxes. So not the div box that's wrapped around it, but the actual anchor tags is going to be um, uh, like an image and it does include an image in here for us to use. Okay, let, let's try and put this in. Let's see what it actually gives us. <laughs> now, something interesting here is that it's actually cutting off part of the CSS, but I don't know if that is a pasting error from my end. Wait, hold on a second. It created media queries <laughs> as, as well. <laughs> it made it responsive. Um, there's something here we need to like figure out. Okay, so it did actually cut it off here at the end. Um, let's just go ahead and, and, and just cut it off. 
So we'll, we'll just go down and, and end it off here. So it did create one error inside of here, but let's just go ahead and just close it off and see what we have right now. So this should technically be a one page website when we open it up inside the browser. Huh. So obviously there's a, a little bit of um, uh, some things going on here. So if I press some of these links up here, it's going to take me down to the different sections. So that is working like intended. Um, we just don't have enough page for it to actually change every single time we click on this. So if we go down, we go back up again. The layouting is, is quite good. I think like for a very simple web design, but there's of course something going wrong with the, the category section down here. And I think it's really important to, to note that when I asked these questions inside chat GPT, of course I asked as a web developer, but if you were sitting inside a company like a marketing agency um, and you have this tool and you say, you know what, we're just going to fire the entire uh, development department. And instead we're going to have like the marketing people sit here and, and just use AI to generate websites for people, you know, our, our clients, instead of having to pay workers to do it, they wouldn't know how to phrase questions properly in order to get the, the exact website that they want to have. So, you know, in regards to whether or not the jobs that we have right now are in jeopardy, I personally think that they're not going to be in danger, but we, it is very important that developers do keep up to date with AI because these are going to be tools that we will have to use at some point. I, I definitely believe that because it is a little bit frightening to see how like even this can become a result of just asking the AI some, some very few questions. I do want to see if we can get the last part of that response that was cut off here. So let's go ahead and say, Okay, so can you please finish the CSS in the reply you gave two questions ago? Notice how I'm asking it, please. <laughs> like this was a human being I'm trying to be polite against. Um, so let's see what it says. Go down to the bottom here. Certainly, here's the complete CSS for the one page website with navigation. Okay, so it is understanding which part I want to be finished. So we're gonna see what it says because this is like, it's crucial. <laughs> We get the last part of the CSS. Is it just me? Is it like, uh, I mean, I'm probably going to be cutting in this video quite a bit, so you can't tell, but I, I feel like it is changing the CSS every time I'm asking the question. I am getting a lot of CSS here, but now it's not giving me media queries. So like if you have to ask it to finish something because it was unfinished and then it changes it completely afterwards, that is weird. Yeah, so now it changed it completely. <laughs> okay. Our jobs are not in immediate danger from what I can tell, but it is definitely fun to see how AI is getting better and better and better. Just for fun, let's try and, uh, and do the CSS part that it just like failed at. Okay, so we're gonna replace this part here because it, it finished until the category section, but it didn't finish the rest of it. So let's see what this is gonna look like. Oh, it actually filled out the button now and it actually has a background image, although it being like a placeholder image and the, the navigation changed completely. Like before it was like a, a bar at the top of the, the site, but now it's giving us a, um, a navigation that is transparent from what it seems. We can't scroll. Uh, Let's go ahead and put it to the side here because I do want to like try and scroll. Can we do that? Is it responsive? Like there's no media queries going on right now from what I can tell. So like it is very, very interesting to see what is going on here. This is AI in the works, creating websites just by asking questions. I, I definitely think it would be really fun to try, just like do a video where we ask the AI to build a website, but we go very specific. So I'll be very specific about the header section that I want to have inside the website. Be very specific about like the, the subcategories further down and, and just see like, can it actually create things for us? And maybe if you have any suggestions to any sort of AI image generation software to see if we can generate images and insert inside as a background banner or something. So yeah, AI is uh, <laughs> becoming everyday life apparently. Besson needs to say goodbye because he, uh, he turned around. He's uh, <laughs> just sitting, being super lazy here in the back. Oh, there you go, handsome. 
<laughs> oh, Bez. So charming with that tongue. It's like the most tired thing ever. Yeah, Bezza was very impressive. Uh, so impressed by the AI that he fell asleep. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,